Hi there! After this lesson, you should be able to check for the solution of an equation when given values for x. We use equations in everyday life, sometimes without knowing it. For example, Perry has ridden his bike three miles. Perry wonders how many more miles he must ride to reach the end of the trail if it is 12 miles total. What we've done is set up an equation or a mathematical statement showing that the values of two expressions are equal. The solution to the equation is the value of x that makes the statement true. It could be any of these values. To find the value that makes the statement true, we will replace x with each value until we get a true statement. First, let's try x equals 4. We can rewrite this equation as 3 plus 4 equals 12. Since 3 plus 4 equals 7, we end up with the statement 7 equal to 12, which is not a true statement. 4 cannot be the solution. Let's try x equal to 9. We will re rewrite the equation, replacing x with 9. Since 3 plus 9 is equal to 12, we can write this statement as 12 equal to 12, which is a true statement. Therefore, the solution to our equation is 9, and we can let Perry know that he has 9 miles left until the trail ends. Let's try another example. We will find the value of x that makes the equation true. Again, to determine which value of x is the solution, we will replace x with the value given and simplify to see if we get a true statement. So let's start with x equal to 8. We will rewrite our equation with 8 in place of x. When multiplying like this, you will want to write the value in parentheses as to not confuse the numbers you are working with. Okay, 3 fourths times 8 is equal to 6 and then 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. Notice that we solve one part of the equation at a time, bringing the rest along. Okay, well, since 17 does not equal 8, 8 cannot be our solution. Let's try x equal to 12. We will plug it in. 3 fourths times 12 is equal to 9, and 9 plus 2 is equal to 11. 17 does not equal 11, so 12 is not the solution. Okay, let's try x equal to 20. First, replace x with 20. 3 fourths times 20 is equal to 15. 15 plus 2 is equal to 17. Since 17 does equal 17, we found the solution. The solution to this equation is 20. Okay, now it's your turn. Draw a line to match each equation with the solution that makes it true. The solution of part A is 26. If we, re we replace x with 26, we can see that 26 minus 10 is equal to 6. Our statement is true and 26 is the solution. For part B, we will replace x with 20. One half times 20 is equal to 10, and 10 plus 4 is equal to 14. We have found a true statement, and therefore the solution to part B is 20. That leaves 28 for part C, but let's double check just to be sure. We will replace x with 28. 28 divided by 2 is equal to 14. Since 14 is equal to 14, then 28 is the solution to part C. Great job! Thank you.